Hello and welcome to PMPLounge.com. Today we are continuing our discussion on the integration management knowledge area and we are going to discuss the top three things that you must know about the monitor and control project work process. What is this process? What should you know about it for your PMP exam? So let's get started. First up the background, so monitoring and controlling process as a whole. So this is a process, right? The monitoring and controlling process group we are talking about. So as a whole, this oversees all the tasks and metrics necessary to ensure that the approved and authorized project is within scope, on schedule and on budget so that the project proceeds with minimal risk. So that is the whole idea behind the monitoring and controlling process group as a whole right now under integration management so under the integration management knowledge area and the monitoring and controlling process group we have two processes one of which is monitor and control project work and the other is integrated change control so we are today in this video going over monitor and control project work process so just to give you a perspective you can kind of refer to uh, the knowledge area and process groups mapping chart 4.4 monitor and control project work this falls under the monitoring and controlling process groups and the project integration management knowledge area this is where it falls under and this is what we are discussing today let's move on let's talk about the top three things that you should know about monitor and control project work process first up what does it mean pretty pretty basic question right so monitor and control project work basically means measuring progress against the project management plan and we have covered project management plan in detail i link to all the videos in the description do check them out if you want to understand project management plan in a better way but what does this process mean this basically means you are measuring your progress your project progress against the project management plan right let's move on number two thing the second thing that you need to know about this process is what does the pm do here so the project manager during this process during the monitor and control project work process the project manager is essentially constantly looking for problems in the project right so did you realize the importance of the first slide in this video right a uh, detective with a magnifying glass because that is exactly what the project manager is doing in this process he is constantly looking for the problems in the project and how does he do that well he compares the project progress with the project management plan something we discussed in the previous slide right that is what is done in this process you constantly compare the project progress with the project management plan and the project manager is constantly looking for problems in the project let's move on to point number three that you should know about this process when does it take place so is there a you know a process is there a timeline where project manager should be doing that of course not monitoring and controlling process is continuously performed throughout the life of the project so that means the project manager is essentially looking for problems throughout the life of the project and that process is called monitor and control project work so that is the reason why when people see a project manager coming near to them they run away because they know this person is looking for problems and he might have he just might have found some with them and that is why they run away right so jokes apart yes this is the process that goes on and on and on throughout the life of the project and the project manager is essentially finding problems with the project as part of this process and these are the three things that you should know about monitor and control 
project work process to understand it better and so that you know you can kind of uh, answer certain questions in the exam based around this concept all right and that is all that i had in this video hope you enjoyed it hope you liked it hope you learned something you didn't already knew about the monitor and control project work process and hope you can answer some questions in the exam around this subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't done so already and check us out on our social media facebook.com slash pmp lounge and twitter.com slash pmp lounge as always do check out the website pmplounge.com, your number one free resource for pmp certification and project management industry information thank you